Hello and welcome to spring 2022 first fishing video of the season I've done some winter fishing videos already but so far I haven't posted anything this spring I had pretty decent fishing myself but I haven't caught anything giant and actually it's been so cold so I've been struggling to actually make a video but yeah enough with excuses today we're out in a in the in the sunset doing a few hours of fishing what I like the most these short sessions I uh, did a little bit uh, of fishing before on a very on a place where it's very obvious where I am I, I try to just be respectful of the fishing spots here and not show too obvious where uh, where I am so now we're out on the open coastline in uh, some pretty colored water has been very windy uh, but wa waves and wind has settled a lot so I think this evening could be magic let's hope for the first big fish of spring season I'm excited so when I began the day I was fishing with this craft for bait fish and this uh, sort of like teal express I caught a kelt earlier using this fly so I'll keep on going with this rig in the evenings I really enjoy fishing in uh, orange bay shrimp as well so I'll probably change that in a little while but right now I feel the craft for bait fish is a good choice uh, some size that takes the attention of the fish hopefully when it's a little bit murky water and some waves these are actually typical conditions that I used to fish with uh, mulkis as well I maybe will change to that but at least I begin with this see how it goes Yeah, murky water, some waves, Mulkis would be perfect here. But maybe it's a new Robert now, he goes with bait fish instead. <laughs> I've walked up pretty close, a hole I know, which is just on the other side of this stone. It's. Uh, not always necessary to uh, cast very far something I definitely got inspiration from in the Caribbean when I was fishing there I have one video so far on my channel about my trip there but so often you spook fish by landing with your fly line over them and here I have a little bit shelter or like I can hide a little bit behind the rock so I can go really close to this this spot here and just present the flies there and uh, when I'm so close I can do more casts in a shorter time and more efficient than if I would do long casts from a long distance after is better presentation is smoother but yeah not any contact there at the moment let's do a little longer cast to the other side of the little hot spot if it's a shaky footage it's just terrible waiting here it's really tricky waves are pushing my legs and a lot of round rocks here So we're starting to approach the golden hours, so change to the golden fly. So on with the gold with the golden and orange space shrimp. See how that goes. A little bit of color in this in this cloudy sunset should be perfect I 
I've fished over some really pretty uh, stretches here now with the craft for bait fish in grey and white so I felt it was time to change something. I will not go over that again. I have lots of areas to fish today. So I'll just keep going with but with a new fly. Nice and fresh, straight up in the face. <laughs> when I do get, when I do get a lot of splash on my lenses like this, I don't like to wipe it with my gloves or anything. It would just leave fat marks on on them. So I I clean them with a fresh cloth when I come back. But out of the water, I just let, like to tap the glasses like that. If you do it too violent, it will. Uh, it may pop out the lenses, so be careful about that, but just light tapping like that uh, works really well to take off the, dro the water drops. I'm right now doing my first casts on, uh, on a new place, checking the hooks so they're okay. We're definitely in the golden hour now, the last hour of light of the day, looks super pretty. The place before was, was clear at some places, but at some places it was just too murky to fish. And now with the change of spot it's much clearer water, can fish uh, without any problem. And I kind of, I like actually to fish in the sunset. When the sun gets the sunlight gets lower, I like to fish clear water. So I think this feels pretty good. That's a heavy fish. Oh god, it took the dropper fly. This is heavy. Either it's two or the re it's a really heavy fish. Oh, it looks like there's one solo fish that is just spinning around in the water, uh, telling me it's probably a kelp. Very heavy to move. Definitely took the dropper. Oh, this is long, I think. I can't really judge now though. What is this? Oh, it's a big sea trout. It's a big sea trout. Oh, oh, this is big. This is a heavy lanker. Took in the shallow water here. How cool. Just trying to keep it under control. Always more tricky to land fishing, big waves. Now I committed to take out the net as well. So I hope I don't need to uh, use two hands anymore. Oh, it's just, just walking around here with it. Mass is coming here as well. My fishing buddy for today. Try to net this fish, be careful. It's so dark bottom here, it's hard to see them. Uh, yeah, they all fly underneath. Look yes, yeah. Oh, it took in the shallows here. Oh, yeah? Cast it along the shoreline. Oh, no, it turned, it turned. Keep your legs together. <laughs> Now it's running a little bit. That tiny fly. 
Must be looking like a gamarus now, I think. A really big gamarus. <laughs> Even though it's a bait fish pattern, intended to. But can look like pretty much anything. It's just in the lip. It will come, it will come. It's always like this when fighting a fish in big waves. They're so hard to bring in. Well, the, the line look a bit tangled, so it's probably not way too behind uh, the other fly as well, but yeah, you need to be careful with it. Oh, it's so strong. Oh no. I don't know what else I can do. No, no, can just. Gotta... Oh, it's going again. <laughs> oh, you should see my smile right now. Beautiful light, big sea trout. Uh, risky moves. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Ooh, that's long! Oh, nice, man! Oy. Nice sea trout in the net, in the most epic light, on the dropper fly. Oh, man, I'm happy now. And about a five minute fight with that fish. That was intense. I think I hold it this way for the sun. Look at that leopard, huh? So gorgeous. Come on, I don't want to hold it too much on, off the water. Come and have a close look at this. All those spots. This fish has been spawning this autumn. Gonna be really gentle to it. Let's go out and release it. I think I'll. We're still. We're pretty shallow, so. Let's. Um, are you able to walk with the camera? <laughs> Don't fall now. <laughs> oh, I should say, stay on your feet. Okay, that's enough. Oh, see, it's very healthy with uh, with fish that has been spawning. Make sure to be really careful with it. Little air exposure and uh, nice release. It's super well goes out really fast. It's about four degrees in the water. My hands are freezing, but the fish is all well. Super happy. Fantastic. I don't know, we, we probably should f continue fishing, but if nothing else, send the video here. <laughs> this fly that I will show one last time, it's, it's just been phenomenal so far. Really happy. It's coming as a separate video on the fly dressing YouTube channel of it. Uh, so I look forward to make or to post that as well. See you over there. <laughs>